Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Tom Helwig here and today we're going to play Cotton Fields, a song written by Lead Belly, famous blues musician. It's very easy, easy chords, easy strumming. You can find the tabs at patreon.com slash guitar pilgrim. Let's take a look. Okay, so the song basically only has three chords and they're relatively simple as well, so let's take a look. Our first chord is the A chord. You want to start with your second finger, then your first finger and your third finger. Do press your first finger against the other two. It's not enough that it's just in the second fret because it can slide back and here it's not going to sound very good. So you want to make sure that the first finger is pressing against the other two, getting as much near the fret as possible. I do not recommend playing the A chord like this, like some people do. Nothing wrong with this, you would say, except your index finger has to work twice as hard in able to achieve a good sound. And there's a great chance you will hear this kind of a buzzy sound, because it's way too far from the fret. And I would much rather have the index finger at the second fret of the G string, so I can hold it onto the next chord, the D chord. Now remember, you play the D chord, try to mute the low E string, or the 6th string, with your thumb if you can. And if not, don't worry about it too much. Then head back to the A chord, you can hold your first finger. And the last chord is the E chord, you can slide with your first finger, one fret down, and here we have the E. Let's take a look at the strumming. Now eventually you want to improvise your strumming a bit and just play whatever your feeling tells you to. But if you're a beginner, I suggest you play the down, down, up, up, down, up pattern. Very well known. Here it is. Now, if you're playing at home and it doesn't sound right, look at your index finger. Too much near the left. 
pressing against the other fingers will make it sound so much better. Now we're gonna start with the A chord and then in the third bar we have two chords in one bar. You can see the E onto the D chord. Now whenever you have two chords in one bar in this song, remember it's two strums each. And in the last bar of the intro we have the A chord and we're just gonna play that one strum. Let's play the intro and go straight into the chorus and let's see if you can play along. Onto the D chord. Back to A. Remember to slide to the E with your index finger. And here we have a nice variation on the E chord. Here's the E7. We have the E chord. Include your little finger at the third fret of the second string. Now make sure the little finger is near the fret because if it's too much near the third finger, it's not gonna sound quite nice. So little finger near the fret. This is called the E7. And then the next chord is the E6. This time, press your little finger at the second fret of the second string. Here it is. So we've got the E7 and the E6. And then it's back to the normal E chord. So first off, you just want to make sure that sounds nice. And if it does, let's take a look at the strumming pattern. So you want to press down the E7 on the second up strum and immediately afterwards we've got the E6 and then back to the E chord. Let's see if you can play along, here we go. And then for the remaining part of the chorus, it's quite simple. A moves on to D, back to the A. Remember to hold your first finger. In the last four bars, we've got the A onto the E. Remember the two strums. And lastly, the A chord. And there you go, guys. Those were all the parts for the song Cotton Fields by CCR. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time.